on tonight's edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. It was a beautiful day out there, temperatures in the 70s. We'll let you know when we can come back to reality later on in the show. Plus, Jared is in the studio for your national forecast. All that and much more on this November 3rd edition of Size Eyes on the Skies as it starts right now. It's Monday night on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I'm joined by Brandon Libby. It was unseasonal today, to say the least. Beautiful yeah. is the word for it. Okay. I got kind of scared, though, because we woke up and it was kind of like this thick, fog, thick, creepy fog for, out there. I guess that for those who had woken up early, if you slept in like I did yeah. today, you missed that fog. Some of us actually have to work <laughs> to make money, but it was a beautiful day out there. Temperatures in the 70s across the state, 73 in Des Moines. 70 in Ames and 70 in Fort Dodge. We had clear skies out there, just beautiful outside. Sunny conditions all day once we burn those, that fog off. And t going into tomorrow, it's going to be much of the same. Well, we wake up to 55 degrees at 8, 8 a.m., partly cloudy skies throughout the day. 66 is your high, excuse me, 69 is your high at 4 p.m. It'll be just a gorgeous day out there, Zach. <coughs> And uh, tonight's weather trivia, or story, excuse me. On this day in 2003, a large storm system produced moderate to heavy rain across Iowa on November 2nd through the 4th, with the heaviest rain falling from southwestern through northeastern Iowa. Garland reported 5.04 inches on November 3rd through 4th, which was the largest 24-hour rainfall amount in Iowa in November since 1952. At least several locations in northeastern Iowa this month would end as the wettest November on record, including at the Dubuque Lock and Dam, where 7.94 inches fell during the month, and at Independence and Manchester, where totals of 6.39 inches and 6.52 inches, respectively, broke their all-time November records, which were previously set in 19, or 1879. And now we're joined by Jared with a look at Around the Nation. We've had some places saw their first snowfall of the year. I'll let you know if you need to worry about snow after the break. And now we are joined by Jared with what is happening around the nation. Thanks, Zach. You can see we've got cool conditions across the northwestern U.S., but the rest of the country is seeing much warmer conditions than normal. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go across the country. Over in the northeast, we're seeing pretty mild conditions. Pittsburgh sitting at 68 degrees, New York 67, 52 in Augusta, pretty clear across the entire region. Southeast, we're seeing more clouds across this area, 64 in Atlanta, 61 in Raleigh, 82 and nice in Miami. Over in the southwest, we're sitting at cooler conditions than we're accustomed to. It's uh, 47 in Salt Lake City, 64 in Albuquerque, and only 71 degrees in Phoenix right now. North, northwest is where the cool air is looking at 44 in Boise, 38 in Billings, 53 a little warmer in Salem. As we look at the Midwest, we've got Des Moines sitting at 65, clear skies across the entire region, a little cooler in Pierre at 46 degrees. Highs today, we saw pretty good temperatures across the, most of the country, much above normal, 72 in Dallas, 66 St. Louis, 75 in Denver. That's going to change there in Colorado as they've got this front that's going to be drifting down to the southeast. Right now, it's impacting Montana and Idaho, giving them their first significant snowfall of the year. The only real uh, weather across the country otherwise is some showers that are drifting through the Carolinas and Georgia. That's going to be moving offshore and impacting nobody else really. Looking at some watches and warnings though, Montana we've got some uh, winter storm warnings and uh, Idaho's also got uh, some more <laughs> an advisory as well and there's some winter weather advisories across the region as well. Looking a little closer here in Colorado, 
we can see they've got uh, winter storm watches in this area and also some winter storm warnings across that state. Zooming out, you can see there's also some dense fog advisories across North Dakota and uh, northern Wisconsin. So some fog going to be impacting other people like it did us this morning. In the future cast, we've got some clouds across the southeast again in the morning. And uh, most of the action is going to be over in the west where they've got the snow drifting down into Colorado impacting them. Some rain over in Arizona as well. Midwest is looking pretty good until Thursday when we start to see some rain pop up and move through the plains into the uh, Iowa and Illinois area. Highs tomorrow are looking very good. Highs at 73 and in uh, St. Louis and in Dallas, 72 in Atlanta, a little bit cooler to the west. Actually going to be cooler in Phoenix tomorrow than most of the country, sitting at 69, 44 for Billings. Durango is our pick city, and we've got a chance for some thunderstorms here on Wednesday, 80%. Only a high of 44 degrees, a lot cooler than it was today. And it just keeps going down, 39 on Thursday with a chance for some snow there. We're going to slowly warm up as we go through the week into the 50s by Sunday. Thanks, Jared. Now let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. How many thunderstorms occur in the United States each year on average? Which is A, 1 million, B, 500, C, 100,000, or D, 10,000? Now, it was a beautiful day across the state today. No thunderstorms. Brandon, how long will this warm weather last? Definitely no thunderstorms out there. We saw sun all day, but we could see some thunderstorms returning into the forecast for Thursday. We'll let you know more on that coming up in just a few minutes. Welcome back everybody. Not much to say about today other than it was just purely beautiful outside. Winds will pick up though tonight and going into tomorrow. We're looking at gusts going up to 25 miles an hour. We'll have those above average temps at least through Thursday it's looking like, but it'll begin to cool back down on Friday. We'll kind of get back down to average near 50 degrees for highs. Now right now still sitting mild 62 degrees. Clear skies out there. That south southeast wind at 12 miles an hour. Now Current temps across the state, again, are very mild. 59 in Ottumwa, 65 in Des Moines, and even warmer, 63 in Council Bluffs, 65 in Sioux City. We had those nice southerly winds. That's bringing up that nice uh, warm air from the south. Al along with that sunshine today, it allowed us to really heat up to the 70s. Um, the south wind, 15 miles an hour in Ottumwa, 15 miles an hour in Des Moines. So it's really bringing up that juice. And again, that sunny skies really helped us. We've got high pressure sitting down in Missouri. That's keeping the clouds away, and you see not much in terms of cloud cover, and that'll stick around. That'll stay that way going into tomorrow. But we see this low pressure begin to form on the Dakotas. That'll bring its cold front in for Thursday. Now the models try to bring in some cloud cover and even some sprinkles Thursday morning. It's really looking like the the cold front should affect us Thursday night. Some stronger thunderstorms are possible. We'll have to keep an eye on how that plays out. But for lows tonight, 52 in Ottumwa. Mid 50s across the state, very mild for this time of year. Our, our average high is right around there, so keep in mind that's very warm. Tomorrow, 71 in Ottumwa, 72 in Des Moines, and 69 in Mason City for your high. For her aims here tonight, 53 degrees. Again, it'll be windy with gusts 25 miles an hour. That uh, sustained wind south, 10 to 15 miles an hour. And tomorrow we're looking to get up to 70 degrees. It'll be partly sunny skies, still breezy with gusts possibly up to 30 degrees, or th excuse me, 30 miles an hour. And as we go into Thursday, again, the 60% chance of thunderstorms, some of those could be strong. We are in a marginal risk for severe weather right now. And then it'll begin to taper off on Friday, 30% chance. But you see the temperatures begin to drop off 52 degrees as that cold front passes through, 49 degrees for Saturday, and then we kind of get back in, up into the mid-50s to start your week with partly cloudy skies on Monday. Let's take another look at tonight's trivia question. How many thunderstorms occur in the United States each year on average? Is it A, 1 million, B, 500, C, 100,000, or D, 10,000? Now, Jerry, what do you think? I'm going to go with 1 million thunderstorms. Okay, Brandon? Uh, I was going to say 1,000 thunderstorms, but that seems a little low. And that's not even an answer up there. Okay. So probably what ten thousand was that an answer? Yeah. 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 So let's go my, ahead. Let's my, go ahead. My Actually, yeah. Bad. Okay. So D ten thousand. So yeah. C ten thousand. Okay. The answer is C hundred thousand. So Jared, you're not a millionaire. <sighs> Welcome to come back next week and try again. Man, I hate how I always miss these questions. <laughs> it's like no. I know nothing. You, you got to study up before you come on the show. You, you, you're what like zero for five on trivia questions this year? Uh, something like that. And I don't know if I got any right last year either. So. 
You know, I guess I'll just stick to playing the lottery. Well, apparently Jarrett doesn't play Trivia Pursuit on Friday night. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, great game, by the way. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> we were, really, 70 degrees today we made it up to. Yeah, uh, and, and looking at the forecast there, tonight's low is going to be Friday's high, so it's going to be a big difference. Really However, big, uh, big ten, uh, temperature swing. Not cold enough for me yet. We're looking at those temperatures in the 30s because we need some snow. Well, we need that really, really no. too much, you no. know. Christmas is coming. He's by himself on that. One. <laughs> no, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I know we need. Hey, you got. He's chomping at the bit to play Christmas music uh, but, hey, already. It's it's not, it's not even Thanksgiving. Well, you yet. can't. Well, I know. We just you, got done with Halloween. You can't play Christmas music when it's seventy, almost eighty degree weather. You know, we're, we're breaking That's records. True. That's not supposed to be happening. We're supposed <laughs> to be in the thirties. Now the radio station said they won't play the Christmas music mm -mm. until it gets colder. That's we, very. That's very sad so news. Hopefully, well, you know, hopefully, we need to get some turkey songs going here. Uh, well, do you know any turkey songs off the top of your head? Oh, you. Yeah, Turkey, turkey. <laughs> I love you. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll, work yeah, on we'll, it. we'll have that for Thursday night. But on that note, before Jarrett goes any deeper, that concludes our show tonight. Please tune in again on Thursday night. You can follow us on Twitter for the latest updates on Jarrett's turkey song. And on Facebook, and you can find all our past episodes on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here on Thursday night.